Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Mike My Channel TV and welcome to today's episode of Transfer Talk. Now, I was hoping, I was praying like Tupac that I was going to be able to announce a positive transfer video today that would be getting on with things, whether that be João Pedro, even though I'm not keen on him. Yesterday's video for that, actually, we'll get into it again today. Fuck okay. it. But, you know, there's no movement on the transfer front. It went quiet. To, why do I sound like Jonathan Ross? It went quiet. Today on the transfer front for Newcastle, it is the hunt for a forward still drags on. Now, I don't want to be negative. Uh, there's still a couple of weeks left in the window, obviously, and how we trust Ashraf, please get their job done. I'll judge them on the 1st of September, but I did a stream last night as well on, um, on a different show, Loaded Mags. So big them up, Loaded Mags. Respect to them. I jumped on their stream, had a good one, and loads of people in the chat were quite angry, actually. They've got an angry audience over there. Do you know what I mean? Well, they've got a realism audience as well. Do you know what I mean? You could call them angry, negative, whatever. But a lot of them were unhappy in the transfer dealings. For me, it's been too quiet since Botman. The main aim of this window was to strengthen in the forward area, and we haven't done that yet, so I can understand it. I did my BBC article today. Make sure you check that out. If you didn't know about that, I write a weekly article for the BBC every Tuesday, the Tuesday talking point. And this week's was on the uh, forward issue that we should say in two forwards. For me, a winger and a straight, as we check that out. But in this video, we will be diving into that as well. Before we do that, I want to shout out Football Prizes, the sponsors of this video of Football Prizes. Now, they do unbelievable raffles for Newcastle shirts. And someone actually dropped us a message on Facebook the other day, to the Magpie Channel Facebook, that they had entered and won last week's Joel Linton unsigned shirt raffle, thanks to the link that we put out. So, well done to him. And uh, this week, they've got a Callum Wilson signed shirt for just £2.95. This season's shirt, Wilson 9 on the back, signed by the man himself for £2.95. You can enter that raffle. For, for as little as 2 95 and a chance to win it. It, it closes on Thursday at 7.30pm. The link will be in the description for that. So, what's been happening today then? Transfer news. Well, the Yao Pedro thing is up in the air. Newcastle are debating whether or not to go back in for another offer for Watford's Pedro. Now, we had the £20 million rejected yesterday, as reported by Sky Sports and us on the video yesterday afternoon. Today, they've been mulling over whether or not a dive in with an improved bid. Apparently, Watford went up to £40 million for him. Absolutely no chance that we're going to be putting in that much money for him. No way can we be going to those extremes. Maybe £25 million max. So maybe the Pedro thing is dead in the war now. If Watford are, Watford are just being... They don't have to be. They don't have to sell Watford. They've just sold the star striker in Dennis for £22 million. Pedro's got three years left on his current deal. They're in no rush to sell. They don't need the money. They've got the the money from coming down from the Premier League. They've got them parachute payments to try and come back up. They're in good stead for that. Pedro's going to be an important player for them to try and get them back into the big time for promotion. So they're not going to, they're in no rush to sell. They're in no need for sell. So this one could be over for Pedro. It could be end of the line for Yao Pedro. It could be, you know, that, that could be the way it goes for, for Pedro. Whether or not we go back in for him, I'm not sure with... With, with that kind of money being rattled around. If we're talking upwards of 30 million for him, that's just a massive no-go. It's a massive piss take. It's a massive Newcastle tax all over it. But it's like I said, Watford don't need to sell, so they're, they're in no pressure to do so. So maybe we'll move on for Pedro and we're on to the targets now, or we're on to previous targets. What's the latest on Gonzalo Ramos? We haven't heard anything on Gonzalo Ramos from Benfica, the 22-year-old Portuguese striker that we were an impending 25 to 30 million pound bid for. That's went quiet. Apparently Benfica were keen on getting the money. Ramos was up for the move. We haven't heard nothing for days on that. God knows what's happened on that one. If maybe Benfica have changed the mind and thought, hey, these answered the phone quickly, didn't they? They said, the, the, the 25 million, they were going to pay that straight away. Tell you what, yeah, 35. And then it never ends. Like January, all over again with Diego Carlos and Sven Botman. So maybe that's the position we're in at Benfica. Maybe Benfica are, are taking the piss a little bit. That remains to be seen. What about the links the other week with Bama Dieng from, from Marseille? He didn't even play for them the other day. That looked like he was maybe on the verge of a move. We know that the new Marseille coach doesn't fancy him. Not in that aspect, just doesn't fan doesn't like the... He's not the best on the pitch is what he's trying to say. So he's not going to get a game for them. He's not going to start anyways. Does Eddie Howe fancy him? Again, not. Can he compete with Wilson? Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. Is he going to give competition for Wilson? Can he come here? Do we do we want to buy Dieng? I mean, apparently 50 million Senegalese. It's a no-brainer for me, that one. I would get him. And I'd rather have him than Pedro, to be honest with you. I'd rather go for Saw uh, at Watford. I'd rather go for Guri, if anyone, in France. You know, there's loads of names that could be out there. What's the latest on Bro? Yeah, Newcastle apparently still in talks to Chelsea over a couple of players. That could be the next move. I mean... <laughs> 
The Newcastle owners and the Chelsea owners have had a 900 million euro deal today where they're going to invest in luxury hotels and stuff. The, the PIF group and the Cairn group who represent Chelsea, that's totally un unrelated to football though, so we're not going to talk about that too much to be honest with you. It's got nothing to do with now. You know I mean, it's, it's just a mutual interest. It's not really going to collide with because they're investing in hotels means that we're going to sign Conor Gallagher tomorrow. That's completely irrelevant, but it shows that we've got a good relationship with them. We're trying to build a good relationship with the club. Obviously, Amanda already knows Todd Bowley and, and Diego Gallo, who she was with the other day, who invited us. So there's a chance there, and we're still after Pulisic. We're still after Gallagher. We're still after anybody that plays for Chelsea, basically. If T Thomas Tuchel doesn't want them, we'll have them, by the looks of it. You know I mean, we're saying anybody from Chelsea. Rightfully so. Great squad. Can always improve us. Everyone at Chelsea is going to improve us, pretty much, aren't they? So I'd love to see some movement on Pulisic or Gallagher, which is apparently a £40 million bid. Will they take a loan option from with the, with the option to buy? Hudson Adoy is linked. Amanda Bruyer, that link doesn't go away. So we're really hoping that things materialise. Coming into the end of this week now, Wednesday, tomorrow, we're going to hear some news then. I really hope so. The Pedro thing, I'll be happy if that doesn't happen. I don't want Pedro. I'll be honest with you, that's one of the least names I want this winner that's been linked, and there's been lots of them. We know that. If you watch Transfer Talk, you know that. I just honestly think it's an underwhelming signing. Three goals in the Premier League last year. It doesn't get me excited at all. That's so why I'll be happy to move on from Pedro and look elsewhere. James Madison, is that one dead now because we wouldn't give the 50 million cash that Leicester wanted? We were trying to do it in instalments. There's been no movement on that. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a mental end to the window where we'll see outgoings. We'll see the likes of you know Federico Fernandez, Matt Ritchie, Matty Longstaff. There's many players that aren't going to get a game at Newcastle now and need to be shipped out. I think we'll see some movement on them. You can even maybe see Lascelles move if a big came in. And I think we will see at least one more player in the next couple of weeks. And a lot of things could be happening towards this time next week. Middle of next week, towards the end of the window. Obviously, deadline day could be a bit crazy if, if there's outgoings and there's incomings. At least one has got to come through the door. And it's got to be in that forward area. And then do a look for two or three. Obviously, we've went the whole video without mentioning the bloke that's been mentioned more than anyone since the takeover. Lucas Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta. Apparently, you know, that bid was going to be coming in last week. 33 million activation clause for him from Leon plus add-ons. That has also went quiet. I think the new owners are really just going through the list. Dan Ashworth's going through the list and trying to see what, what takes best, what makes sense most. So... That nothing's happening yet. We could, we, any of those players that I've mentioned could literally sign for Newcastle in the next week. Who will it be? We'll wait and see. And look at Pedro. That link came out of absolutely nowhere. So the same thing will probably happen next week. We'll probably be signing a forward from Norway. He's going to be the next Solskjaer, hopefully not as a coach. And you know, that's what I'm saying. It's going to come out of, come, totally come out of the blue the next signing probably. But we'll wait and see. Yeah, We'll wait and see. Let us know in the comments below. Who would you like to see signing for Newcastle before the end of the transfer window? Any of those names that I've mentioned in this video. What's your thoughts on Pedro? Would you go back in for an improved offer for the Brazilian Watford forward? Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourselves.